This is Peggy Kiefer with the Grove Sun at GrandLakeNews.com. I recently talked to Police Chief Mark Morris and Officer Jeff Glenn, and they introduced me to their newest vehicle on the Grove Police Force. Well, over the last three or four years, we've acquired a whole new fleet of vehicles, and that was because prior to our current uh, city manager and that city administration, uh, our fleet had been allowed uh, to get in bad repair. We had cars with enormous amount of miles on them. The maintenance costs were, were expensive. So we took a look at a program that's been in existence with law enforcement for several years now, and that's the Take Home Storage Program. That's where each individual officer has their own car, and that lowers maintenance costs. That makes that officer proud of the vehicle he's driving. Um, you're not switching from one officer to another officer in cars. It, it lets them take more pride in the vehicle they have, which in turn, uh, the cars are better taken care of. So we have a whole new fleet of cars, basically over the last three years. Uh, and you can see here, this is this is one of the last cars from our old fleet. And this is some of the problems we had. This car is going to have to be repainted because of the issues we've had. Dodge is uh, right now in the market for law enforcement is the, uh, the preferred car. Um, and it's worked well, and so now we're also targeting a, or looking into a pilot program where we'll run these cars to about 50,000 miles, we'll put them on, we'll sell them, we hope to recover about 60 to 70 percent of our initial cost. So in going back and buying new cars, the cost is going to be cheaper, uh, the cars will stay under warranty the entire time, which costs the city less money, and that's, that's a big push, and that's one of the things we want to try to achieve. We have to make sure these officers are in safe vehicles because at times they drive at uh, high speeds, uh, bad road conditions, and so the better the equipment is, the safer the officers are. Take this car for example. This is our latest addition to the fleet. It belongs to Officer Jeff Glenn, and he's going to give you a tour of this car, and he's going to show you a little bit about what this car is. One of my favorite things about this car is it's a lot safer than the older cars. The older cars just had a light bar on top, flashing headlights. We can just take a walk around this car and I can show you. On this car, we've got a lot better side visibility. We've got lights on the side of the push bumper. We've got lights inside here on the side. We've got more lights in the back. The cars are the light bars are a lot brighter than the old light bars. Have a lot more lights. That way we're a lot more visible, less less chance of us getting run over. <laughs> I worry more about getting run over working a crash than I do about getting shot. Because I've almost been hit numerous times. But I think with these cars we'll be a lot, lot safer. They're just a lot better car than what we've had. Okay. So we're very proud of our new fleet. It, it's uh, great for the city. One of the first things that people see as they come into a community is our patrol cars, any community. And a lot of times that's how people gauge what that community's like. We have a great community here. Uh, we want to uh, attract businesses, attract visitors to come into our community because our, our economy is based to a great extent on that. So when they see these wonderful, beautiful police cars, um, that's the image they're gonna get for the entire city. So it becomes very important. We're very proud. Uh, we're a proud community and we're proud of the uh, equipment we have and we're going to continue to try to show our, con our community in a great light. This is Peggy Kiefer from the Grove Sun and GrandLakeNews.com reporting.